Hey friends, let's do the twist and make some retro Christmas decor. This vintage Christmas DIY challenge is hosted by Monica from Up All Night DIY and Annie from Crafting with Annie Andy Jones. Links to the hosts and playlists will be in the description box. For this DIY, I have just a white plate from Dollar Tree vintage looking window planes. Um, I think these either came from Dollar General or Walmart, a little bit of red and white twine, and some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Okay, so I'm taking my vintage Santa window cling and I'm going to do an initial dry fit on my plate to see if he will completely fit on the plate and how I want to have it situated. And then I take my Mod Podge, it's the dishwasher safe version, and I just work in small sections and work my way all the way down, smoothing out all the air bubbles underneath the image. So I'm going to add my tacky glue. With all that tacky glue smeared around the edge, I add my red and white twine so there's a nice peppermint look framing out my vintage Santa. And once that tacky glue dries, it does dry clear. And Santa just looks so jolly and cute. Let me know what do you think of this vintage inspired plate. Okay, so for this DIY, I'm gonna upcycle this food tin. There was um, chicken here. I have some tree miniatures, some little um, Christmas um, flatbacks from Amazon, marbles, little toy soldier, drummer boy, some chess pieces, ribbon, a alphabet block, and a piece of foam that will fit down in here. open so I think I want to use this beautiful tartan plaid I found this at Marshall's after Christmas last year it's beautiful vintage feel to it I think this will be really pretty wrapped around here It's a wired ribbon, so I'm just going to take this 
edge and kind of like bend it. So I'll start with my bigger pieces. This was um, a find at Dollar General, $1. Um, I think this is supposed to be a, like a place card holder, but I think this would be really cute here. So on top of there, and then take one of these trays. I hot glue my two tallest pieces in the back and then I add all of my little trinkets, my little toys and little um, Christmas icons into my foam. I used everything except for the marbles and just hot glued them around so it kind of gives a cute Toyland Christmas effect. I'll have a link in the description box for where I found those holiday icons on Amazon. gingerbread man little tinsel wreath I think old school jacks and a little rubber ball would have been really adorable to add in, but I didn't have that here, unfortunately, so just using what I have. And here's my little Toyland vintage piece completed with some colorful lights from Dollar Tree. I think this came out super adorable. I was inspired by some vintage images that I'd seen on Pinterest. Let me know what do you think of this piece. For this DIY, I've got some Snow White paint, a metal tray from Dollar Tree, and window cleans from Dollar Tree. So I'm thinking that I'm going to put this cute little snowman on here. I'm going to paint it white first, but I'm going to make sure that he's going to fit.
So I did a dry fit with the Merry Christmas on top to see how it would look together. Then I just applied Gloss Mod Podge to the back of both of my pieces and adhered them to my little tray. So I have some greenery to add a little swag to the top. And I'll just add this with my Gorilla Glue. So I have these snow-covered berries, but then I also have more of these little pieces from Amazon that might be cute here. Another snowman. Like a little snowflake and a little teddy bear, maybe. That would be cute. And to hang this piece, I'm going to use this red and white wired ribbon I found at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using the same Gorilla Glue again to attach it to the metal tray. So when using these trays, once you've got it painted and your window clings are stuck down, you could totally just, you know, use it as just a decorated tray and put some candy canes or peppermints or, you know, whatever Christmas treats you want onto the tray. But I really think it just looks really cute as a hanging piece of decor. For the rest of the textured edge, I'm adding pure gold from Folk Art. And once I get the pure gold all the way around, I'm going to add just a little bit of antique wax to give it a little age. And then rub a little antique wax onto the area where my images are. Mr. Frosty is so cute. I adore this piece. I love how these vintage snowmen have mittens and earmuffs. Like, how does that make sense? <laughs> so cute. Okay, I've got glue stick, a wooden hanging sign from Dollar Tree, I believe ornament from Dollar Tree, and then I have this pack of vintage Christmas papers from Hobby Lobby, and they're absolutely beautiful. So I think this is perfect for this DIY. So the one that I think I'm gonna use, this is really cute Santa's faces. paper cut out and I removed my string. So I'm going to go ahead and get this applied. Okay, 
I checked to see how my Believe is going to sit on my piece and I ended up having to take the greenery off because the little metal pieces in the back just wouldn't lay flat. So then I just used some hot glue to attach my Believe and then that same greenery that I removed from the top of the Believe, I'm going to hot glue that down on the very top of my sign and then I use this pretty vintage looking ribbon I found at Dollar General and I make a bow with that. It's a wired ribbon and thankfully Dollar General still has ribbon and some things you can craft with that are a dollar since you know Dollar Tree has hiked up their prices a bit. So if you have a Dollar General in your area, please consider checking them out to find some really nice budget friendly craft supplies and decor. I used the end of a floral pick to reopen the hole where the twine was and then I found this red and jute twine um, combination at Hobby Lobby so I'm going to use that instead of the original twine to hang this with and once I finished that I add a little hot glue to make sure that the twine doesn't pull back through the hole and then I take that same twine and I go around the um, perimeter of the wooden sign just so to give it just a little extra framing in this beautiful looking twine. I add a little hot glue to fill in that hole where the greenery was and once that cools I add champagne extreme glitter to blend in with the bronze glitter that's already on this believe and then I just went ahead and finished coating the whole word so it would really help stop the fallout because this glitter was getting everywhere. I love this paper. The super rosy cheeks on the Santa is just too cute. I really love this believe sign. And here's a look back at my other vintage DIYs from this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's totally free. Give me a thumbs up and a comment. It really helps me out. Don't forget the playlist. I'll have a link in the description box. Have a wonderful holiday.